Namaskar friends, welcome back to UD's Quickest Movie Reviews and this is Uday. As always, we are back with some very interesting short films, quick movies and short movies that we are going to review in today's episode. And before we do that, I want you to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can have all our updates on time. Let's start the show. To start with, in today's uh, quick movie category, the very first movie that we are going to review is Quarantine House, Day 25. Quarantine House, Day 25 is a silent quick movie hosted on Petromax Light Venema YouTube channel. The movie basically is about this young girl who is stuck at her home during the quarantine period all alone. And it is day 25 and she started hallucinating things. She started seeing things which were not. And this hallucination and the loneliness is captured into a movie. How does these hallucinations and her loneliness end is the rest of the movie. The movie basically is made by Mr. Pushpa Shekharan and Bridvi Satyakumar is an attempt to capture this girl's thought process, hallucinations, loneliness and convert that into a visual that will scare its audience. To a certain extent, the thought is wonderful. And I should say the camera was well maintained. There was no shake when they were moving and there was very good uh, framework done by the camera. Coming to the editing part, the color tones were really good. I really love the way they have played with color tones. The cuts, though were good, could have been better. The transactions were too clumsy. They were always jumping. However, I don't know if this comes for uh, editing or the camera. There was a lot of noise going on. I'm sure they were shooting in a very low light. But there was a lot of noise even at the highest resolutions possible. I suggest you guys to take control of that. Because when I was seeing this movie, this constant noise was disturbing my mood. And your movie is completely based on the mood. If your audience loses his mood, then I think your film may not get connected to a common audience. Out and out, I must say this movie is just a clear attempt of the filmmakers to push their limits to see if they can scare their audience who are watching this film. And if you are a fan of horror films, I think this should be in your list. And with that, I wish them all the best and rate Quarantine House a 2.5 star in our show. The next movie that we are going to review in quick movie category is Outburst. Outburst is a quick movie hosted on Dhan Singh Rajput's School of Method Act, a YouTube channel. The movie basically is about most controversial subject that is happening in our times and that is the gay law. The movie starts with this young man entering into his room, frustrated, sad, depressed and he is sitting on his bed trying to recall something which just happened and that is hurting him so much that he decides to kill himself. So trying to commit suicide, he accidentally turns on this television which is before. And there is this news channel that is flashing the news that Supreme Court has accepted the gay law. So now the thing is, why was this news important to him? Will he die? What happens next? Are the questions that are to be answered in the end. Concept by Mr. Nitin Anand and directed by Mr. Bhushan Ben, Outburst is no doubt 
a very hard subject to handle and not many filmmakers like to make films out of this but i appreciate the guts that they have taken such initiative to do a movie and they have successfully done it too however story line or the concept was a little bit weak why i'll tell you why number 1 when this young guy enters into the room at the beginning he's frustrated sad and he's trying to recall something as i told you but the makers never reveal why and what is the situation that is pushing him towards death number 2 there is this very long scene where this guy is trying to come out of a mood or maybe some bad incident are going through his mind which he is not able to handle and he is trying to kill himself now as a maker till my pre climax i was waiting to know what that particular situation is which was not answered in the movie was this fellow a gay was not answered because even at the end i could only interpret that this fellow might be a gay and that may or may not be true now as a maker how would i as a maker how would we convey our audience the point that he is disturbed or the point which was going to push him toward death i would have implemented a voice over of these fellow guys who were teasing him that saying he is a gay a simple voice over could have done this job i understand you wanted to make a quick movie that is why you were not implementing any of this visuals however if you are not implementing any hint to your audience he may not connect to the subject and that is what happened in this movie until the last pre climax i was not connected to the movie because i was not understanding what this fellow's problem is and even when i connect at the end you left me very small chance to react to the situation which again was a disconnection and that is very dangerous as a short film maker coming to dop sahil sharma and mr sosa did a great job i really loved the way they have placed the camera angles they were very subtle small moments though i think they could have experimented with lot of angle and whatever they did was very decent the two things that really helped this movie to get enhanced into the next level is editing and music and i was surprised to see that both these departments were handled by one gentleman mr gajender kapoor mr gajender kapoor gave a very decent music and really good cuts that were really making this movie go smooth movies like this really need that cool tone however he chose a warmer tone i suggest him to try some cool tones because the movie is already in a very high temperature uh, subjective well at the end movies like these are very rare and very hard to handle as i already told you it takes a lot of guts to move, make a movie like this where movie makers try to avoid this i appreciate this team and the makers who took up the challenge and showed their guts in making such a wonderful flick and with that we rate outburst a 3 star in our show The next movie that we are going to review today is Six Seconds. Six Seconds is a silent movie that is hosted on Biplav Prasai YouTube channel. The plot of the movie basically is about this person who has lost all his hope and empathy towards the life and uh, wants to commit suicide. What, who, or how is he going to get back his hope? Is the ending of this storyline. Story by Mr. Biplav Prasai 
and Saurav Prasai, directed by Mr. Viplav Prasai, Six Seconds is a wonderfully done. What exactly I like in this movie is the beautiful way they chose to communicate the thought process. They have used this uh, diary or some notebook where the person is writing his thought and we get to read it. Beauty of this movie is that without dialogues, he is completely communicating or we are getting attached to this movie and that thing is really impressive. Camera was not bad. As I see, even at high resolutions, uh, there were a lot of noise. I'm not sure that it was wantedly implemented or is that a effect that they wanted to give this movie. But um, it was constantly disturbing my eye. The rating was really good. The color they chose and the way these effects are implemented onto the film really enhance the subject. At the end, 6 seconds is a well-processed, nicely made, intelligently projected film. And we at UD's Quickest Movie Reviews rate 6 seconds a 3.5 star in Ash. The next movie that we are going to review in quick movie category is The Last Note is a silent horror quick movie that is hosted on AT Studio, a YouTube channel. The movie is based on a situation where this young guy wants to write something and is very scared of his phone. What does he want to write and why is he scared is exactly what the concept of the film is. Concept, script and direction by Mr. Ashish Pal. The last note is a wonderful attempt to showcase a very scary thought. Camera, screenplay and editing by Mr. Anirban Mandal has done a great job. I really love the prospective shot that they have composed in this film where the camera behaves as the unknown entity who is seen through phone itself. I really love the thought. I really appreciate the way they have composed the complete movie based on one thought. And there is not much to talk about the story because this is just a thought. It was a well made movie and I wish the whole team all the best. And we read the last note a 3.5 star in art. The next movie that we are going to review is a special movie for me. The name of the movie is Sarcophia 2.0. Sarcophia 2.0 Oh, is a sequel of Sarkovia which we reviewed in our recent episodes and is hosted on Cinemastro Film YouTube channel. The film is continuation of what we call Sarkovia Saga in part 2. I must say Sarkovia 2 is an intelligent remake of Sarkovia 1. Why am I saying that? Most of the situations of Again, the same mended version of Sarkofia 1. However, you will not regret to see this because every single scene is a fresh decomposition of the old one. When it comes to Sarkofia 2.0, I rather ignore story and making and talk about the team which made this movie. Why is it so important? In a couple of minutes you will know. The director, editor, music, SFX are done by Mr. Vino who stays in United Kingdom. The story and dialogues are done by Mr. 
Rakesh Raj, who stays in India. The couple of people who worked as cameramen to this movie are Kritika, who is from United Kingdom, Sandhya, who is from Germany, and Mr. Vinod, as we know, he is in UK. So, in short, these people are spread in different countries. I am going to discuss this subject too. Then shoot in their respective places and send this data to one X place. And Mr. Vino, who is also the editor of the film, would access it, compose it, then do the color correction, and then he is again going to show this to his friends once they give him the feedback. Then he is going to arrange it accordingly and then he is going to release Sarkofia. Sounds as complicated as it is. It is damn complicated. I mean, I can understand how hard it is to make movies like Sarkofia. I really appreciate these people. And guys, what surprises me more is everything I mean the whole process is made on zero budget as a filmmaker I know how much pain and effort this takes even when you are spending a bomb of money and I really appreciate the whole team I really wonder how they do this Sarkofia 1 or 2.0 will always end with a message and it really makes sense. A comedy movie which makes a message that makes sense is hard to do. It is really a eye feast to watch Sarkofia and I am desperate to see Sarkofia 3.0. And with that, we rate Sarkofia 2.0 a 3.5 in our show. All of us, cheers. And that brings us to the short film category. The short film in the short film category that we are going to discuss today is Bengali short film Bartman Atit. Bartman, which is present, and Atit, which means past. So, Bartman Atit, a Bengali short film that is hosted on Magic Moment Picture, a YouTube channel. The story starts with these young filmmakers who want to make a documentary of an event from their past. So, they constantly talk to people, and they come across this young man who is explaining them about his lost parents during the corona pandemic that happened 12 years back in his life. The story and the events, mindsets of the people during the lockdown is documented perfectly. Written and directed by Pritam Chakravarti and Abhijit Singh, the film no doubt is a great idea. However, I felt screenplay and editing was a bit lagging. Preetan Chakravarti, who is also the editor of the film, has done a great job writing the film. But when it comes to editing, I think the visuals were not gripping. That is because this was done with multiple cameras and multiple people. So what I can imagine that they have done is they ask their friends, uh, their parents, family members randomly show bits and parts of the film and they have composed all these footages and then made a composition and that is how the film was done. See what happens here is when you have multiple shots taken in multiple different locations 
one they won't have the constant line number two an audience can understand that the locations are two different places and they're not in the same place to cheat this they should have used some property which is same in both the locations for instance imagine the uh, father is standing out of the room and the mother is talking from the kitchen we should at least have the same door color so that an audience can understand that this is not two different locations they are the same so things like this really made this film a bit difficult to digest and a bit difficult to adjust your eye but out and out i really think that he has managed in a lot of technical ways for example he used a complete black and white to all this timed uh, shots because in a way he has managed complete light in one shot the black and white was a wonderful idea to give when he is doing this but at the end i say it is a brilliantly made short film considering so many shots stitched together to make one film i appreciate makers to take up such great challenge and put your efforts to fulfill this challenge and we at udi's quickest movie reviews Rate Batman Atit a 3.5 star in Asia. Today, in our small film category, we will be reviewing about a Hindi thriller short film, Briefcase. A Briefcase is hosted on Pocket Film Indian Short Film YouTube channel. A briefcase is a story of these two cops who come to find a box. Now, when they search, the conversation leads to collision. Collision leads to quarrel. Quarrel leads to ugly situation, and this becomes a good cop, bad cop scenario. Like any cop movie, they settle with finishing the job. So they continue with their job. So as they search. they find a dead woman in that go down now the tension of the film jumps into the next level both agree on finishing the job and then reporting this to their boss now the subject to is who are these cops why do they need that box so badly who is this dead woman in the go down what is there in this box these things will be answered by the end of the film written by mr abhishek directed by mr kunal javed written by mr abhishek directed by mr kunal javed a brief case is a well written and single point film which is well narrated however i personally think that this is too dramatic and has very predictable screenplay I mean, they could have added a lot of twists and turns, but they did the most usual narration possible. But if you are a cop movie lover, I think this is one of the most wonderful movies that you can watch. Editing done by Mr. Kunal Jadhav and cinematography by Mr. Harshad Jadhav did a wonderful job in lifting the movie to the next level. camera movements were so smooth most of them were the most of the focus pulls were very good editing was very smooth it had clear cuts and they were very clean on making this movie look like bollywood masala film i mean when you see this you will see a typical bollywood film I think this is a very good attempt to make a cop thriller movie but personally I think that the story could have been more interesting and there was a possibility of experimenting a lot of things with your camera angles 
I wish them all the best and suggest them to work more on the screenplay. And with that, we rate a briefcase a full three stars in our list. So guys, that brings us to the end of the show. I really thank Mr. Venkatesh and Mr. Prabhu who were our uh, special reviewers of this episode. And if you guys want your short film to be reviewed, please send your links to this email address or you may inbox us in uh, Facebook or also you can um, send us your links onto this WhatsApp number. Now, if you want to be our uh, WhatsApp uh, group members, you can always hit that link uh, which is in our description and you can be a part of our WhatsApp group also. Like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends, hit the bell icon and support us and help us reach more filmmakers. With that note, this is Uday signing off. <laughs>